Here's a question I get a lot from real-time PCR users. How do I accurately measure the PCR efficiency of my assay? Well, in theory, checking efficiencies is pretty easy, but in practice, it can be a challenge. Let's start with the basics. To measure the efficiency of an assay, you need to run a template dilution curve in real time and then look at the resulting slope of that curve. That slope value, assuming you prepare the curve properly, tells you the efficiency. If the slope is negative 3.3, then the assay is amplifying at or very near 100%, exactly what we want in quantitative real-time PCR. But if that value is more negative than this, say negative 3.7, then the efficiency will be less than 100%. There's actually a formula into which you can plug this slope and get your numerical efficiency. Happily, with all newer AB Instrument software, the efficiency calculation is already done for you. Just go to Results, Standard Curve, and there it is. Now, here's the thing. I see a lot of cases where people make mistakes preparing their dilution curves, and as a result, they calculate incorrect efficiencies. So what I want to do is give you 10 suggestions on how to improve the accuracy of your dilution curves. Number 10, use well-calibrated pipette men. Number nine, serially dilute standard material. Number eight, for absolute quantification, always use an appropriate standard material. Number seven, mix your standards thoroughly after each dilution. Number six, pipette higher volumes for better precision. Number five, run at least triplicates of each dilution point in real time. Number four, use a minimum of five dilution points, each of which has at least a tenfold dilution. Number three, after the run, check your R squared, look for outliers, and omit them. Number two, if the curve has more than one or two outliers, or if the spacing between any of your points is irregular, repeat the entire curve, including doing the dilution. And number one, have more than one person run a curve the first time to make sure that the results are in agreement. One good thing to be aware of is that all the TACMAN assays Life Technology cells are designed to work at or near 100% efficiency. In fact, we tested thousands of these and published the results in an application note entitled Amplification Efficiency of TACMAN Gene Expression Assays. That document is available for download on the Life Technologies website. I hope you found this helpful to your research. You can sure help us make more of these videos by tweeting TACMAN, liking TACMAN on Facebook, or by visiting www.lifetechnologies.com forward slash AskTACMAN. Thank you.